Good morning, Andrew. Yeah, good morning, Tom, and good morning, Bob. Good morning, Andrew, and good morning, Tom. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to Fawn, everyone over at a very warm. Welcome back to you on a very chilly morning. It is a beautiful, sunny November day, Tom. I think you describe it as autumnal and crisp. I describe it as 18 points till Christmas. Oh, 18, oh so you're counting down in points, yeah, not well, 18, potential points. 18 points till potential Christmas. Potential points. 18 points. Not days, points. Great to have you back with us. This is Fawn, everyone all over it, and we begin with good news. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Case. What's the good news, Tom? Very shortly after the Charlton game, we smashed the 15,000 subscriber mark. Oh. So we are so, so grateful to all of you for joining us on the journey, aren't we? Very grateful. Indeed we are. Well done. Keep subscribing. Let's get the 20,000. Soon come 20K. Yeah. It's great to have you back with us. Really looking forward to this one. After a two-week Pompey pause, we are straight back to it. A busy schedule now. Four games in the space of 17 days. Fantastic, Tom. Looking forward to every single one of them points. To begin with, Blackpool switched the far coast for the south coast, which will always be blue and white, by the way, the south coast. Yeah, good, good Just to point that out. Goes without saying, really, doesn't it? I expect a competitive game today. Back at Fratton, Tom, in the sunshine, a nice cold day. Bring it on. Let's have some of it. Maybe for Josh Martin as well, chucked in at the deep end. He's still very young. He's got a couple of months to prove himself. If he does well, sign until the end of the season at least. If not, we look at other options and he's got some much needed um, match minutes, hasn't he? You've been out robbing shops this morning before you nah, came to the been. front part? I've been to my little sister's football. Very right, nice. Four. Did she win? Yeah, 4-1. Four, oh, so today's going to be a... 4-0. 2-1. One. 1-0 one Pompey. 4-0 written all over it with a Yankee on top. It's a Pompey pie, mate. Look, mashed potato, peas and gravy. And those are available for £17.50 before match days. <laughs> Today I think I think we just need to go back to basics, move the ball freely. Blackpool, very good side, a lot of championship quality in there. It's going to be another tough afternoon at Fratton Park and it's interesting because you've got Blackpool and Bolton sandwiched between Burton away and Northampton away. So a lot of different sides required to our game in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, but that's not the best thing about Blackpool, is it though? Because you, you've got the donkeys and drag queens. You have, the most and the tower things. and the ballroom. Yeah, that, that second though. I, oh, like, I, like, I like the donkeys. I also like feeding the donkeys, but yeah, that, nice. that's the most thing I know about Blackpool John Marquis live in Blackpool these days, does he? <laughs> <laughs> I want to say 4-0, but I'm going to say 3-0. People might recognise me from my channel if they watch your channel. Cheeky little plug, like it. 5-1. It's got to be 4-0 written all over it. 3-0 Pompey. 4-0 written all over it. Score? 2-1. You reckon we're going to do it? Yeah. Goal scorers? Colby Bishop. Oh, got to be. <laughs> That's one of those. Paddy Lane starting. Yeah. Quite good. It is quite good. Yeah. You could sound a little bit more enthusiastic, Edie. Yeah, good. There we go. <laughs> Tricky start to the season for them, but they've come on in the last couple of weeks. Absolutely. And also they've got the second best home record in the league, which will eventually go over to their away form, which they hope and we don't today. 4-0. 2-1. No. Got get legend in. Get legends, because <laughs> I'm stood with a legend, that's why. I'm in doubt with score. 2-0. Cold Bishop Hattrick. 3-1 Bishop Hattrick. 2 all. Just a little catch up on the uh yeah, it's doing well, mate. It's the pie well. that Andrew had to remortgage to yeah. purchase. Yeah. It's a massive pie, Tom. Mashed potato and a, and a mushy peas, mate. I'm not sure about the mushy peas. Oh, yeah. It's I all, don't know if the combo is really happening oh, for yeah, me. Oh, yeah, it's all happening, bud. Unfortunately, 3 2 to them. Blackpool are free scoring at the moment. Going to be a very attacking, intensive game from Blackpool, I think. They've gone from that when they went to the championship from that 4 4 2 to 3 5 2 now. We're going to have to be at it today. And if I was to tell you the news that Paddy Lane's starting, what would be your reaction? Whoa! Just 
just said there, the scoreline is probably just about right. I think it's about fair, isn't it? We look very, very shaky in defence. I don't think we've moved it quick enough when we've got it. It's not quite clicked at the moment, is it? Far too much time on the ball from their point of view, I think. And if you look at their game plan against us, it's very much no time on the ball. Don't let them make things happen. And we're not applying the same to them. This place is still noisy, it's 2 0 down. Here it comes. Hamilton's been tearing us a new one all afternoon. He's completely deserving of a goal, albeit it takes a deflection. There's a nip in the air and might just be the winds of change. Worryingly, looks like winds of change. Oh my God. First of all, I want to give massive credit to Blackpool. I think they were fully deserving of that win. I thought they were excellent. CJ Hamilton, as I said earlier on, causing us problems all afternoon. Yes, there's arguments on the second one being offside. I think it was Jordan Rhodes stood in an offside position. Um, it's the first one off the line. Is it a penalty? That takes nothing away from Blackpool's fantastic performance. Back-to-back -back wins. Neil Critchley's really got them going. They won the playoffs a couple of years ago, Andrew, with him, and I, I think they're, they're really heading places. You said it's the best team you've seen at Fratton Park this season against us. Well, I said that at half-time, Tom, because it was at that point it's one nil. So I still said that they much better than us in all departments and much quicker than us more organised to be honest they deserved it at the end of the day and we didn't mm. so we, de we deserved to get nothing out of that game it's exactly what we got nothing and I think in the interest of balance you are probably sat at home this evening or whenever you end up watching this in one of two camps you are either 4-0 down who gives the flying monkeys we're super pompy and we're going up and you're thinking let's hopefully write that off as a complete blip and maybe it's a complete off day that all these good teams have and it was we were always going to lose at some point and that's completely factually true or you saw a lot wrong with that Pompey performance you're worried about how perhaps some not all but some performances over the last couple of weeks have been masked by late winners lucky moments from Pompey I say some not all and then your alarm bells are starting to ring in I think those are the two camps that Pompey fans will find themselves in tonight you might find yourself halfway in between or a little bit of both worlds but I think ultimately it's it's an embarrassing day it's late November and we're second in the league let's move on from this one put it behind us yeah I hope there's not major head loss I hope there's not Bolton. major let's head see what loss. happens next yeah. week game. And, and in terms of the performance losing 4-0 I mean that's the big that's number one alarm bell that everyone's going to see but the telegraph football the pedestrian nature of it everything I thought we'd rid ourselves of in terms of performance levels were there evidently to see today it was a very poor performance um, we had it coming what I will say is there's a tension amongst the support I felt today that maybe it's the not having lost for so long maybe it's that it's got to come sometime we've got the monkey off the back now but I think there are lessons that this squad can take from this How many? I know they're a little bit thin on resource in certain mm. areas at the moment which showed today I think probably but absolutely a bit concerned that now players even get booked for asking the referee to explain his decision I think the, the um, non-pen well, well, is a pen as well um, in my view we lost our discipline think... for 10 minutes after that I love Joe Morrell I almost want to put my hand on his shoulder and say he needs to tone the temperament mm. sometimes you know he's too big a player at this level to do that as a professional outfit as professional sports people I think sometimes you have to do a bit of navel gazing and you have to say um, let's use this as fuel. The if whole it, season we've it, been it, asking it, the question how do we respond from something like this? If they're not hurting, there's a problem. Oh, there will be. I'm sure they, they absolutely will be, will be. So All teams lose, Tom. Even great teams lose. It's how you react to it that makes or breaks It's the response, you. isn't it? Yeah. Um, Luckily the reaction wasn't like it was to these games that I'm about to mention, but it gave me flashbacks to MK Dons and Charlton at home at the start of this calendar year where we just completely looked devoid of any ideas and we just all, 11 of us and the changes that John Messino made, I think a little bit of credit there because he, he 
did all his best to stifle it, but it, it meant nothing ultimately. Although there were changes, it wasn't just like he stuck with it and we did try to be dynamic and not one dimensional. It did just look like all 11 players wanted the ground to swallow them up, particularly after sort of, well, north of two and three, four nil, which is, you know, natural. The worry is, Andrew, if anything from that performance creeps into any future games this season, I think we have a massive war in our hands because there was it. nothing I liked about us today. Unfortunately, I thought the shape was all wrong. I thought we looked off it from minute one from the first whistle. There's a cup. Yes, the, the referee decisions don't help. A really difficult afternoon and maybe the pain's eased if some of those key moments go differently that Ollie Yates didn't seem to spot. Sometimes you do just have to hold your hands up, wipe the slate clean and go the best team won today and then we go again next game. It's probably the way that I think they'll try and look at it and I think we're going to try and look at it. Bottom line, Black were much better than us in lots of ways and they were better than most teams. In fact, all the teams have seen this season. So Yes, obviously the ref. Everyone, every single Pompey fan there today is going to say that the ref wasn't up to, up to score and he wasn't. No, but, but you well, still you, have to look at yourselves. To, you've yeah. still got 90 minutes to play with that with that bloke on the pitch. So yep. In amongst all the anger, I'm sure, and the disappointment of today, Pompey's points per game average and Pompey's points level at this stage is still well above where it needs to be for automatic promotion. I think it's just... So, it's one of them that our expectations of course. are so much higher today is... Sobering. Big. Put it behind us and move on. Yeah, see what happens at Burton, see what happens at Northampton. Big week, big response. We need to win both the, those games and then we've got Bolton on a Monday night. It's the, it's the question we've been asking all season here on 4 at Labour, isn't it? When that first loss does come, because it's such a, a lengthy record in terms of a league run, what's the response going to be? And we're going to find that out on Tuesday. And we hope you join us for that. Thank you for joining us this evening. Apologies, it's been a really dodgy one. Um, it's not an awful lot we can do about that, apart from give you our views on it, which I'm sure you've enjoyed and I hope you've identified with in some way, shape or form. And if you haven't, leave it down in the comment section down below if you want to build on anything we've said. We'll see you on Tuesday night. Thanks for watching. Keep the faith. And as always, play out Pompey. Play out Pompey. We're still second. Don't lose your heads. Cheers. Go south.